Hello everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts. And do you guys see the size of this box? It is massive. So inside this box is my canvas that I'm gonna be working on for Claws and Paws. Uh, so this is the event that starts in August. At the time of the filming, it has not yet started, but by the time this video goes up, I think the event will have already started. Uh, cause I, depending on like, Looking at the timeline of when I'll be planning on posting this, yes, this uh, it, we will already be into claws and paws. So I will be unboxing this vi canvas for what I'm going to be working on for the event. Well, my kit is in here, plus a few others. So this box is my kit from Lazy River Wood Turning. Uh, I did a pre-order for their kits that they had uh, and I could not decide which ones I wanted because they had come out with some absolutely ridiculously adorable canvases and kits that were going to be absolutely perfect for claws and paws and then they were just adorable. Oh, Mochi knows I have a box and it's a box big enough for her to climb into so she's all about that, all about that box. So Mochi's sniffing the corner of my box. So I could not decide which ones I wanted. Um, they're absolutely adorable. I think I ended up like forcing myself to narrow it down. We have a we have a mochi. We have a mochi. See, we have a mochi. She's gonna climb inside this box. Uh, I had like 10 canvases. At one point I had 10 canvases in my cart, and I'm like, I cannot buy 10 new kits in one go. Um, so we have a cat in the box. I could not buy a 10 in one go, so I forced myself to narrow it down, but I could only see total cat in the box. Uh, I forced myself to narrow it down, and I ended up only being able to get myself to, like, go down to, I could only narrow it down to, uh, to five. I could not for go down beyond that. There, there was absolutely no way. I'm not going to unbox all of these for you guys. I'm going to pull them out of this big old box, put the box on the floor, and uh, then I'm going to pick which one I'm going to unbox for you because I'm trying to decide which one I want to do for Claws and Paws because I had an idea of which one. I think I'm going to go with this one right here as I think the one I'm doing for Claws and Paws. See, this is what happens whenever I have a box. And then, of course, uh, there here are some adorable stickers that uh, Steph, the one of the owners for Lazy River Wood Turning threw in there. Look at those. <laughs> the little sharks. Oh, the seahorse. Travel time, dude. It is travel time. I need a vacation. I need to go on travel. Ooh, pretty plant. And put these off to the side. So, uh, as a thank you, because I have never bought from Lazy River Wood Turning before, and uh, Steph found out from Carol, and thank you, Carol. Uh, Carol's amazing. Anybody who knows Carol knows that Carol is wonderful and amazing. So Steph found out that I love pink flamingos. And as a thank you, because like having never purchased, you're gonna sniff my hand, Mochi. Having never purchased from a kit from their company before, I like went out on a limb and bought five canvases from her company like having never purchased from them before, which was a splurge for me because I don't normally buy can five canvases in one go, but I don't, I don't know why I bought five in one go. I think I just couldn't resist. So as a thank you, she sent me this adorable canvas, which I will unbox at a later time for you guys for free as a thank you. It's a pink flamingo canvas. And you guys know I've mentioned before that it is so hard to find cute pink flamingo kits. So she sent me this as a thank you, and I am like super happy about that. So I can't wait to work that one up uh, and do that one. So I will have to like move that up on my list. But I'm like, I was torn because I was like, do I do that one for Claws and Paws? But the one that I got for Claws and Paws is just so adorably cute. Mochi's being a an adorable stinker. And you'll see why I decided to do the one that I'm gonna do for Claws and Paws. But huge shout out to Steph uh, and Matt over at Lazy River Wood Turning and Carol as well because I think Carol helped kind of put that idea in her head. 
Oh, and I can't wait to do this particular one, this Japanese inspired one, this Kitsune one that I have. You gotta move, girlfriend. You move. I need I need to get this box out of the box. Thank you. She's like, but I was standing on this box. Oh, and here's the card. Aw, this is so nice. Dear Alyssa, thank you so much for your support uh, of our small shop. Not only that, but having the faith in us to place a large order site unseen. I hope you love all of your new paintings and that they bring you as much joy as your order brought us. With our warmest wishes, Steph and Matt. P.S. Thank you for your service. So that was very sweet of them. So, yes. And I, I love supporting the small shops because I know it makes a difference. And if, like, I can... I can spend my money anywhere. <laughs> you are just a ham. But I would rather spend my money. Like, how many times do people drop, like, anybody who's on the Diamond Art Club, like, VIP Facebook group, which is a lot of people, how many times do you see people dropping, you know, money for five kits with Diamond Art Club? I know a lot of us, at some point or another, have done that before. Um, but I'm like, I would rather do that with a small shop and buy like these adorable kits with a small shop supporting someone like a family than doing it for some you know like big company and I actually and they were running a sale when I bought these too so that made it even better so I think this was for their son's uh birthday oh my goodness the coral so this was for their son's um birthday they were running a sale so I actually got these all on sale too which was even better for me she is a ham come on Moach this is going to make my unboxing even longer if you're just being a ham and doing this I mean look this is what I have to deal with every time I have a box in the house I need this box that you are laying on little rascal so I can get this sti <laughs> the stickers the little pink whale you are a rascal you are a rascal. And I got a pink flamingo sticker. You are a rapscallion, Moach. And the bear. Okay, good. Thank you. I can get this box out. Oh, these are some hefty boxes. These are some big canvases. There's some really adorable ones in here, but some of them are big. Like, uh, I have a 60 by 105, a 60 by 85, a 60 by 90. The pink flamingo is a 50 by 65. And then I have a 60 by 85. And then the one I'm going to do for, for paws and claws is going to be a 60 by 65. And now I know I need to pull this adorableness away because she is just way too cute. I know everybody's loving this cuteness. This is this. I mean, how can you not love this cuteness? But I need to remove the cuteness so I can actually unbox the canvas for you guys that I want to do as the unboxing. But I know it's so distracting. I mean, this this is just so distracting. But this is Mochi. For anybody who has not seen Mochi in her adorableness before, this is my Mochlet. This is the stinker. This is the bebe. This is my 6.7 pounds of adorable little mochlet and she's actually three years old almost almost three and a half she was born in january so she's three and a half now but that's my stinker all right stink butt you're going on the floor boom you're going down all right so we are going to get into this Ooh, everything's all all messed up all right i'm gonna have to wipe my table down from the big old box. So we are going to go into this one right here. All right. I like that they give like on the corner of the box, you get the little thumbnail. So this is going to be what we are unboxing, this adorable kitty, which kind of reminds me of Mochi. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for paws and claws. Is it paws and claws or claws and paws? I can't remember which. And then you have the thank you, which is this adorable little teddy bear cubby minder, cover minder with a little thank you from Steph and Matt. And now you get the canvas, which comes in this um, 
plastic cover to protect it. And I think it's actually two pieces. That's interesting. Makes sense though. Ah, so they use the two pieces there. And this is a 60 by 62. I'm going to, uh, let's see, we're gonna bring it in just a touch. So you don't have to see my legs. Whoop. There, we'll go with that. All right. And look at the adorable face. I will bring it up in a minute, but I want to show you what we get in here. So they give you two, 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 two tool kits. You get the uh, regular pen, you get the white, uh, basically the white little boat. Uh, you get a pad of uh, red wax and then two multi-placers. Um, looks like a three placer and like a larger placer of some type. Uh, I'm not good at judging the size of those. It looks like a somewhere between a seven and a 10 placer. I'm not sure which. I use metal placers, so I'm not sure which. Here are the drills. Look at those pretty colors. Those are beautiful. Ooh, and they come uh, in the plastic baggie, or not in the, yeah, in the Ziploc plastic baggies already kitted up for you. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to kit up, you've already got them already whoop, prepared for you. And it comes with the inventory sheet, so that way you're prepared. You've got that inventory sheet there, and you've got some ABs in there as well. So there are those. And as we come right here, uh, what's pretty cool is that these kits, they've also got a large sticker sheet right here. Uh, so you've got the sticker sheet and it is one big sheet. So this one has 45 colors and it even tells you how many you're supposed to have of each color here in addition to the inventory sheet there, which is nice. So uh, you've got the code right there as it comes down and what baggie number. So that'll be easy enough to cut uh, them out to be like, boom, cut that out and put that on my Elizabeth Ward containers. And then you've got the image of this adorable, adorable kitty cat, which kind of reminds me of a mochi. Except for my mochi has a little white nose. But I thought that would be too cute, so I had to. I decided to do this for paws and claws. Because so I thought that would be super cute. So that is what we are working with. And drills, I'm gonna set those to the side. And we are going to open this up. And I am going to roll it back for us and I like the canvas it does not have so anyone who's watched me do an unboxing I mentioned the fact before I do not like the creepy soft canvases that seem to be all of the rage nowadays uh, it's a texture thing for me most companies seem to be going to the creepy soft textured canvas um, Maybe it's because I was raised by an artist who raised me on regular types of canvases. So the creepy soft canvases that if you have pets, anybody who has pets or is not like a fanatic about cleaning and I'll, I'll be the first to admit I'm not a fanatic about cleaning my house. Uh, like I'll, I'll clean, like I clean sort of, but I'm not a fan fanatic about cleaning my house. So I have pets and I try to keep things, keep things clean, but unless, if you have pets or kids, I don't have kids, I have pets, I have fur babies, but unless you are like actively sweeping or wiping down your surfaces like multiple times a day, there will be cat hair on things. Like I clean this table, uh, this surface every single day. It's dirty right now because I just had that big old box that was outside from shipping on my desk. Otherwise, this would not be dirty because I keep this clean because uh, this is my painting uh, desk for my actual art, art painting. But there will be cat hair, there will be dog hair, and when you have like the, the soft backed canvases, it sticks to those soft back or those like really felty canvases. So the companies that don't have those super soft felty canvases, I actually prefer that. And that's just me and a personal preference. Everybody is different. So I prefer this slightly, like it's not super, super stiff, but it's got that like 
doesn't have the creepy softness. That's what basically what I'm saying. It's not creepy soft and it's not that like felty stuff that means that every piece of dust that you look at is going to just like gunk onto the back of your canvas. So that makes me happy. And then also my mom being a professional artist, this is more of the feel of like, feels more like an actual painter's canvas to me, which is what I'm used to. So here it is. Oh my goodness. Look at that cat face. Oh my gosh. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh my word. Super adorable. Oh, she is so cute. I love it. So this is what I am working on for paws and claws. Oh my word. So uh, on the canvas here, you can see up at the top, you have uh, their logo, Lazy River. Uh, and then in smaller wood turning, but Lazy River, you can see over here, you've got their website and then you've got their Instagram. They have the um, schematic there and then you have um, like the size as well. And then coming down the side, you have right here and they make it large enough that you can actually read. Some Sometimes it can be hard to actually read what you're looking at. I'm gonna go ahead and try to zoom these back out and see if we can see little bit more because these are big it's not huge but it's not tiny it's a 60 by 62 so not huge um but you can see here you've got a nice big uh color list over the code over here that's nice and large you've got coming over the same thing you've got another one on this right side over there uh down at the bottom it talks a little bit about right here you'll see water tightness, it's waterproof, anti-fade, don't iron, it's non-ironing, and it is green apparently. And then the, over here, the title is Cat with Big Eyes, and the artist is Zhang He. Uh, so that is our artist right there. And that, and you can see here, they do use two pieces of um, release, or of the plastic to cover it. Uh, so you have one piece for the left half and one piece for the right half. That's how they kind of, the company that they utilize does it right there. And one of the things you'll see with this is, like for me, that doesn't bother me at all because I'm going to turn this on its side and I'm going to work on it sideways because that's how I do things. I turn them on their side and I work on it sideways. So that actually, like for me, it actually works because then I don't have to, you know, slice the release paper or the, the plastic cover down the middle, I'll just slice my sections like this and then go whoosh and peel that section. Just like, like go to my next area and when I'm, which really I work like this and then as I complete a region, I can just be like, whoop, it's done and it's off the canvas. Um, but I'm going to bring you guys for a little tour here. And we are going to take a look at some of these symbols. So you guys can see the detail of these symbols. So they are all pretty clear. There's the fours. They are looking good. I'm not seeing any. I'm gonna look into these dark colors because sometimes the darks can be difficult to read. Right there, you've got the darks with the, uh, the dark writing have light letters. The light ones are different tones. So those are all clear over here. These are very, very clear with those light ones there. So those are all good. And I always use a light pad for me personally. That's just my eyes just do better with the light pad. So this looks good just looking at it like this. So that looks good there. I'm not seeing any issues with that. So that all looks excellent. All right. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer one because of our stink butt right there. And I think for the sake of time, I don't know if I'm gonna go over all of these drills with you guys like I normally would. So I'm just gonna pull out the ABs for the sake of time uh, so we can look at where our ABs are gonna be in here. So I guess I shouldn't, I don't even need to turn it over like this because I'm not going to look at all of them for you guys. Um, 
because I don't want to turn this into like a 30 plus minute video for you all. I have enough, I do enough like really long videos. I feel like I owe you guys some shorter videos. But we're going to pull this out and see how many ABs do we have. We have one and she's in the box too. There are two ABs. So I'll verify that there are two ABs. And what's nice is you have this one which is the smaller one as your verification uh, that you have what you want in here. So you've got your uh, colors right here that verifies that we have our 45 colors. Uh, so we have the two ABs, boom, which I believe are just sitting right here on top. Boom, easy day. So 210 and 743. So let us look at where those are going to be. So that way I'm not keeping you guys for forever. I always feel bad when I say, oh, when I try to do like a short video and it turns into like a mile long, ages long video. So our AB210, this pretty purple, uh, that's a really pretty purple. And I'll probably add some additional ABs just because I'd like to be able to bling things up and I have them, so I might as well. And then AB743, this gorgeous, gorgeous yellow. You could probably guess where this is going to be. So our symbols are AB743 are going to be the three little triangles. And those three little triangles, in case you couldn't guess, are pretty much going to be this yellow here. Boop. All of that yellow that you see there. It's also going to be the yellow that you see right up in here. All of that yellow there, all of that yellow splashed right in there. That's all going to be the yellow AB glowing. So not, not too surprising there. I kind of guessed just by looking at it that that's what this was going to be for the yellow. Now our pretty purple, this AB210 is going to be the anchors. The anchors looking at this image, there's not as much of this. Let me see, where are the anchors at? I did not look at this ahead of time, obviously. So let's see what, oh, the anchors, we have some anchors splashed in the top of the canvas right in here. There's some light purple anchors splattered right in there. So where else are the anchors splattered? Ooh, and then there's some anchors splattered in this light purple right over in here. That's where else our anchors are splattered. I think those are the two areas that I'm seeing so far. Right in here, those anchors, and then up at the top, we have a little bit of a splattering of some anchors. And that's all that I'm seeing of this pretty AB210. I will probably also add some additional ABs. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll go through my list and seeing what I have, what colors I already have, uh, and match them up. Uh, maybe seeing if I have some of the, like the orange would be pretty to add a little bit of that orange AB of the little kitty cat's face and add that in, in an AB color. Uh, but basically I'll kind of like look through and see what I already have as an AB. Uh, and maybe even seeing what I have to bling up the, um, these beautiful flowers that you see in this corner. Seeing what I have in the purples, these pretty purples down in here. If I have any ABs or crystals that I could add here to bling those two up and that would be beautiful. But this is cat with big eyes and as you can see it is most definitely a cat with big eyes which I think is beyond adorable and is perfect considering I have a ridiculous cat with big eyes. Where's my cat with big eyes? She ran off. I have an adorable little cat with big eyes who ran off to do cat with big eye things but you guys already saw her so this is going to be my kit that I'm going to be working on for uh, the paws and claws event for the month of August and it is going to be fun and I am super excited because this is so cute it is going to be so much fun and it is the cutest little kitty cat ever. And again, huge thank you to Steph uh, for th these beautiful canvases and I am super excited 
to work on my pink flamingo right here and I will unbox that for you guys later. It's going to be so much fun because it is like if anybody likes color blocking that one is going to be a color blocking heaven. I personally love color blocking so I am looking forward to that immensely because again I love color blocking. But I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I look forward to see to showing a finish in a post review of this kit because this will be my first lazy river wood turning canvas that I will have worked on. Have a great day everybody. Bye!